Rick! It's 10.30 at night on Friday night. This is the beginning of the vlog. What are you doing? This is the second video of the vlog. I don't think I'm going to put that other one in because we were talking about a six minute clip that we shot this morning when we were playing into the Echo side. But I talked to fucking Ken, DC Fago guy. Yeah. And he, he says that um, if you have the Toy Box card in your hand and I'm holding the Killjoy Club card in my hand... As you go to put that card into play, I can stomp that move with the Killjoy Club, and then you discard the toy box. But once it's in play, it's pretty secure. I haven't found anything to discard it yet. It's 10.30 at night on Friday. What are you doing, though? Editing. Editing. Roachbong did every single aspect of this fucking spicy sucker challenge, with the exception of actually... Setting up one camera. Iceman did the one camera. He filmed this with the man camera, right? Now you're going to edit the videos. Put all the fucking text on. And that's you, bud. That's him. I'm leaving the room. I'm leaving the room. I'm giving him complete good luck, bud. Good luck, bud. Good luck. Good luck. So I'm going to give him complete creative control over making the fucking video. And by complete creative control, I'm going to let him make it. And then I'm going to go and make sure that it's up to, like, it's not a very strict standard. But I'm going to make sure that it looks good. And in the meantime, hanging out with Mima. What up? Trying to teach her how to place him into the Echo side. So we're just going to fucking finish this. And if you're not listening to Chill Hop 24-7 live stream on YouTube, go fuck yourself. This is the vlog. Woo woo. Rick, it's your second time editing a video around here, right? Yeah. What's the best thing and what's the worst thing? Figuring this thing. Figuring out the text timeline is the worst thing. What's the easiest thing? Uh, just fucking watching the video. <laughs> <clears throat> you having problems getting it all lined up, bud? Doing problems doing something. Yeah? There we go. Ah, but it's popping off though. Yeah. Sick. Hour left. I hey don't have any opportunity to draw yet, but I still potentially could obtain an item, or I can still obtain item. I can still obtain cards on all this comic. Yeah. I played all my fucking cards. Do you have a card? I played all my cards. I have no discard pile and no fucking main deck. You played this card, and I'm about to do it. this. I haven't even you selected what to do with it yet. Is it you can't select that card? I can't, yeah, I can't yeah. use... You can't select... I can't draw variables. cards. You can't, I can't draw yeah. cards because I have no cards to That's draw. That's whip. That's crazy, <laughs> yeah, that right? That's crazy. Yeah. That's almost neutering me. Yeah, there's no cards for so you. So I've literally draw, played so. all my cards. Yeah. Uh, and I still have to decide what to do with this one. Damn. There's nowhere for you to go. Iceman. Yeah, buddy. What time is it? It's fucking after 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 3 in the morning. Where's the fucking video? <laughs> it's in the computer, bud. <laughs> Rick, I think you did a great job editing the video. It took you a few hours to make a 10-minute video. I can't front like it didn't take me a long time to fucking start banging out the first couple ones. But now with like, just to talk a little bit of shit, now that I'm used to doing it constantly, I can bang out that 8-minute episode in like 30 to 45 minutes max. That's edit it, text it, produce it, and start the upload. And probably within 45 minutes to an hour, because it's an eight minute video, have it I online. I've watched that video at least 50 times. I think you, see, now I don't watch my own, I barely watch my own videos, because I fucking watch them all the time. But I think you did a great job editing, thank you. Do you like it? Do you want to maybe continue doing it? Sweet. So, uh, then that's it. It's fucking 3 a.m. We're all fucking team turn up. We get turn up. We stay turn up. Woo woo. Into the echo side. It's got us fucking getting fucking buck wild tonight. We're going to stay awake, pull an all-nighter playing games. And uh, basically, I'm just going to start getting this upload started. And hopefully the video will be out before 4 a.m. <laughs> Sorry I didn't put the movie out. 6.30 in the morning. What time is it? Fucking quarter to six at least. Yep. It's quarter to six Saturday morning. The movie's been done for a couple hours. Uh, it's probably uploaded too actually. We just... 
into the fucking echo size, ruining my life, right, Rick? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you call it? Yeah, yeah. how would you do ruining ice? Ruining your life? I don't know yet. I'm getting there. It's so fucking late, I can't count. I know, it's so hard. What about Six, you, Rick? Seven, you nine, getting there? Yeah, I'm getting there. Ten. So somebody's going to be a winner. That's probably going to be me because I'm a fucking winner. And then what's the plan for Saturday, boys? Fucking make a show? Make an internet show? Make a couple shows for the internet? Sleep. Sleep, yeah, and then get up in the late afternoon. You ruined your sleep for the whole weekend, eh, Ice? Yeah. He's fucked now. These guys are still counting cards. I'm trying to buy time to see who the fucking winner is. We played a three-player game uh, where we uh, flipped the last of all 12 epic cards over. <clears throat> and in the end, I got uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 51. 35. 45. <laughs> Fuck off. It's the face of a winner. Rah! Okay, I gotta go to bed. Get the fuck out. Alright, it's 5 o'clock on Saturday. You can't see because of the bullshit, but it's 5 o'clock on Saturday. We're all freezing cold. We're all tired. I'm staying up all night and playing into the Echo side without the heat on, right? Right. So now it's time to make the video public. Here we go. Publish. Oh, fuck. I forgot to do this. Do that. Put a dash there. Put a couple fucking squigglies after that. Remove a space. Text formatting, you guys. It's important, you know what I'm saying? And then we hit a space. Then we hit save changes. And now the video's live. What up, sucker? Rick! What? Sorry, the video was late on Friday. I just fucking am still learning how to edit, oh, right? Back. That's right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another mother fucking episode of Why Would You Do That? I'm your kind of drunk and cold in this wind host, not slim one. All right, so it's mail day with Andy. Uh, what's up, Andy? What's up, bud? Not too much. I just got a package from Lee Halverson, and Andy's yeah. opening uh, it for me. I'm a little bit over opening uh, new mail, especially this one because I think it might be perishable, so we just got to make an assessment right now and see if it needs to be uh, assessed. Holy shit. Oh, um, God. <laughs> Hold him up. Oh, my. Come around. Come around and look. So what? Is there writing on them? No. They're fresh, though? Yeah, they're definitely juicy. So you don't want to then probably put them in the fridge because they could sweat and then develop rot? That'd be a good idea. So don't put them in the fridge? Well, check this out. I don't think they're still vacuum high, uh, maybe. Now, there's air in them, dude, so they're not vacuum tight anymore. They're going to hold out until next week, though. Yeah, I don't see why not. Do you think you should keep... I'm just asking you, uh, should they stay out or go into a fridge? Uh, I would say a fridge. I think um, maybe a fridge, too. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Can you toss that in the fridge for me, bud? Yeah, can I keep this 20 bucks? Hold them up again. Is there money really in the box? So no. the red ones are Carolina Reapers, and the black ones, I think, are chocolate bootlas. There's yeah. no writing to distinguish what they are on them? Negative, sir. Is there really a 20 in the box? No. Okay. All right, well, uh, thanks for vlogging with me, Andy. Yeah. We're going to do that Twistmas giveaway maybe in this vlog, I think. Oh, that's cool. Do you know what you got? You said you were suggesting you maybe wanted to give something. I didn't know you were doing the giveaway already, otherwise I... Well, no, we're going to uh, just figure it out. You don't have to say anything right now. All right, say bye, Andy. Bye. Well, as we all know, this is our last assembly, which means this is the last time in front of you guys that I'll be able to tell the most beautiful girl in the world. I'm talking about you, Maggie Johnson. But I love you. I love you, baby. I do. <laughs> I'm going to put it in my pocket. <laughs> I'll save it. 
Okay, so it's Sunday uh, at around, I don't know, close to 3 p.m. And Mima's still here. She wanted to leave at 3 o'clock, but we're basically just waking up. And here's what fucking went down last night. Rick, take your hat off. We fucking went to get our hair dyed for... Hello Wicked and Mima brought the what what was the what what was the volume? 30 percent Mima? Yeah, but thirty percent. So Mima brought a thirty percent <coughs> volume peroxide to go in conjunction with this powdered bleach. Can I have it? Is this what we think the problem is? Yeah, I think so. So you got this one year old bucket of fucking uh hair bleach. Powdered hair bleach. Powdered hair bleach. And we mix it with a thirty percent volume peroxide and it was developer. Pardon me? A 30 developer. A 30 percent developer? Yeah. Just a 30 developer. A 30 developer. I know nothing about hair. <laughs> but all I know is that I used to have my hair super vibrant green with the product that I bought, a rusk green, and he got a red and it's like really crazy orange, so I'm super, I'm like, I'm not pissed. I'm mad that the fucking developer isn't, didn't fucking lighten my hair. I gotta go platinum because I need that vibrant fucking sheen. So what I ended up doing was on sale. I went to the Shoppers Drug Mart. I picked up a bottle. Uh, I was going to get Blondissimo, but it only went to seven levels. I mean, six lightning levels. This is seven lightning levels. So I got the, I got the highest rated bleach that I could get from the Shoppers. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to bleach out all this light cream. Show them the spot. I can't see the fucking spot. Right. So after it was done, though, after we pulled it out and the hair looked like shit, Mima put some without, put some dye without developer here, right? And yeah. it, whatever, wherever it's at here. And I can't see it, but I guess it looks more vibrant than the rest of the hair. But regardless of that, I'm going to fucking strip it and then put the green in it again. And then whatever that result is, that's what I'm going to have to live with until the next time. And I think that's it. What are you going to do? Just run a little more red through your fucking oh, orange I'm gonna go darker. copper locks? I'm going to go darker. It's super copper. It's, yeah, it's super orange. Yeah, oh, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna go definitely darker. Let's do it. Whoop 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 whoop. Right. How's it look, Rick? Dark? Looks, it looks yeah, it looks good. It looks orange. Fuck off, Iceman. It fucking does not. No, it's, it's going doesn't. in like a. a well, it's gonna go light at a first. A very but vibrant it'll green. As it yeah. Goes. Yeah. Oh, let me turn this and see. It's gonna be like a boogery green, I think. Yeah, that looks fucking hot. It's gonna lighten up and look sick as fuck. That yellow fucking really made it. That Fiera Platinum Blonde. Yeah, Fiera Platinum Blonde. Sorry. There's that spot that was all fucked up. Not like fucked up, but like all dark green. In that spin of your head there. What Rick, why are you recording me? Give me a goddamn copyright strike on YouTube with all this music. Oh, shit. <laughs> Rick, what are you doing? Rinsing. <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, it's so much less copper than it was before. It's great. It's not even less copper. It's perfectly red like out of that jar, bud. Look at it. It needed that tone to... It's going to lighten up just a bit once you dry it. Let's go look at the big body mirror in the back. Yeah. It's brighter. Aaron, you want your hair color? Ah! What hair? <laughs> oh, I love that way, way better. Yeah? Oh, fuck yeah. That's like, that's what I was going for. Yeah, you like it? That's what I was going for. Yeah? Yeah. It's gonna lighten up a little bit, but that's mainly what I want, yeah. And I got this fucking Will Sigler green popping off. Yeah. I just gotta let it sit for like another 20 minutes, and hopefully that fucking disaster that I had a few minutes ago is kaputski. I'm pretty sure it is. Get good bleach when you dye your hair, right, Rick? Get good bleach. Whoop, whoop. This is the color that I'm trying to achieve. Even like looking at it, look at it, look at it through the camera, Rick. See how much brighter it is in the viewfinder compared to the phone? Yeah. The phone is the shade that I wanted. This is like a lime green. I don't know how that's going to translate. But I wanted it to be a dark green like this. Oops. Anyway, and it turned out to be a really fucking light green like this. 
So I think I have to do another yeah, fucking coat of green. It's like mine was at the gathering. I think I need to do another coat of green to see if I can get it to fucking become more vibrant. Yeah? Maybe. I think it's... Yeah. I don't know. It looks alright. I had to put another coat of green in it. Yours is looking pretty popping. Yeah, I like it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mima. You're welcome. I love it, Mima. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up? It's your homeboy, Mr. Mint. Look at my fucking hair, Rick. <laughs> I can't even deal with this minty-ass green fucking bullshit. Anyway, I'm just hanging out. It's Sunday night at, I don't know, almost 10.30. I gotta drive Rick to work. You gotta go home, Rick. Gotta go to work. You gotta go to work, Rick. Another weekend in the fucking books. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Next weekend, right? Here, let's get Megan's video in the thing, too. Uh, come on, Rick. Get, Rick, you gotta get it together. Uh, so, we're watching other Juggalo videos. They were playing into the Echo side a second ago. But, uh, whatever. I'm over that. So, um, we are about to head to the city. I gotta take Rick to work. And uh, we're finally, finally, I got the opportunity to go and see Heavenly Creed, the winner of the Hollow Wicked Million Dollar Giveaway. And uh, I finally found, she found some opportunity to have some free time, and that time is now, now being the time. <laughs> anyway, yo, check out all this fucking shit, man. <coughs> Excuse me, we got... We got a Hollow Wicked promo from, I think, 2014, a Riddle Box Weekend DVD, a Hollow Wicked single from 2015, the Shaggy Two Dope Fuck the Fuck Off Tour t-shirt, two tickets to Hollow Wicked, this Hollow Wicked t-shirt, two more Hollow Wicked singles, an Insane Clown Posse Theater DVD, both of the, of the DVDs are sealed, this Insane Clown Posse shirt from Andy, right? And everybody else's generous donations, uh, Rick's mom, Andy, Fred Brush, Jordan Peral, Steven and Melissa, me, Rob, who's this from, Andy, and this is from Rick. So I'm going to go, I'm going to give her all this, and then she chose to uh, take the cash over the after party tickets, so I'm going to flip her 20 bucks, and then uh, since she lives in Windsor, when I see Scotty D, I'm going to get the other shit, the book and the, uh, and the other stuff he said he had. And I'll bring that back and I'll give it to her because it's in my city. It's in my fucking city. How convenient is that? Yeah. Right? So I think that's it. That's it? Is that it? That's it. I got to take you to work now, bud. Uh, <laughs> Rick. Yo. You're late for work. No, I'm not. I'm on time. Are ya? Yeah. Let me see your hair again. You're balling out of control, bud. You know what you look like. You know what you look like right now. You look like the fucking Juggalo News logo. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna go drop this prize box. That I'm having a hard time filming. You got it. Uh, at the. Uh, to the winner, Heavenly Creed. And yeah. you know what? what? One, please fucking quit smoking. <laughs> okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay. And then two, next week is fucking Hollow Wicked, man. I know, it's gonna be a crazy weekend. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, Rick, I got shit to do. I gotta go. Me too, man. Don't blow that gross smoke on my shit. Take your pizza and GTFO, boy. Peace. All right, see you, bud. <laughs> All right, so it's two ten in the morning right now. It's Sunday night. Prepare to turn right. I dropped Rick off at work for like he had to be at work for eleven. I dropped him off at eleven. I went to uh, I went to Heavenly Creed's house. Be I was there before eleven thirty. Now turn right. And. Uh, and she's like, yeah, come on in, blah, blah, blah. Super friendly, very nice uh, woman. And uh, holy fuck. Anyway, very nice, ultra-friendly woman. And then uh, she... Uh, into Road. 
Yeah, all right. She's like, oh, uh, blah, 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 come on in. Let's see what's inside this box. So we looked in the box, and then we got to talking. And then uh, I was like, oh, I got to go. What are y'all doing, watching The Walking Dead like me? Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know me. I do what I'm, I'm like, super nice. I'm like, well, y'all want to do that together? And she's like, uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. So me and her and her husband or boyfriend watched The Walking Dead? Oh, my God. Did y'all motherfuckers watch The Walking Dead? That shit was crazy. Crazy as hell. But, uh, yeah. So they were super friendly, extra crazy kind, very welcoming. They gave me cookies. And uh, we watched The Walking Dead. So congratulations, uh, Heavenly Creed, on winning the Hollow Wicked Million Dollar Giveaway. I'm just trying to focus on driving through this intersection. And the fucking road is so bumpy. Anyway, that's it. It's 2 a.m. I think I got to go and get some rest. And then wake up and make some fucking videos. All right, so I just did the fucking sickest unboxing video ever in my life, and I fucking hit record on the camera, but I didn't pay attention to see that the camera didn't have a fucking memory card in it. So anyway, the package from Cloud Wars came, and I got this hat, and I also got this sick-ass shirt. Thanks, Big B. Uh, you should have seen the unboxing video. It was dope. I was giving you mad props and shit. I opened the thing. So I opened the whole box. I got this rig. I'm going to show it to you right now, but... I thought that it was going to come with a quartz banger, but it didn't come with a banger, but that's okay because it does fit my nail, and I had to turn the camera off so I could find the nail, and I did, and blah, 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 and here we are. So uh, make sure that you take an opportunity to go and check out Cloud Wars. Uh, they sent me this fucking dope-ass fucking dab. I guess it could be a pot rig with this fucking bowl in it, but... I got this piece, so check it out. It's they call it purple slime. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you could probably see it, but the top of the the top of the bowl is purple glass, and uh, also this part of the stem is purple glass. I think the whole stem, maybe just this bottom piece, the mouthpiece is purple glass. It's got a nice, awesome fucking disc percolator in it. It's labeled Cloud Wars all over the unit. There. Big B Brandon was kind enough to send me all these promo stickers and this bag. And like I said a second ago, this dope-ass fucking snapback. It's like leather. It's like a plastic leather. Uh, pleather, I guess. <laughs> it's, that's a real thing. And it's the same material on the front. It's pretty shimmering. I love black and gold. And I love purple. So you nailed it, man. This matches the bong perfectly, too. I Can life even... I wish I had a wider shot. I can't do it. Can life get any better? I don't know. <laughs> so uh, let's just do one more quick shot where I fucking put the other bowl in so that we can see what the dab rig is going to look like. <coughs> and that's what it's going to look like. That is pretty fucking far. Uh oh, let me hold it like a real fucking. That is what the fucking titanium nail looks like in the dab rig. That shit is pretty fucking fresh if you ask me. So. Make sure that you go on Facebook and check out Cloud Wars Vegas. Search the fucking name and click the link that looks like what you see on your screen right now. I.e. my hat and the stab rig. And that's it. So I'm definitely going to be showing these guys out for the next couple of weeks on the videos. Uh, that's, you know, what we kind of talked about for sending me the rig. And I love that shit. It's amazing. So I will be extremely redundant and say again, thank you, Brandon, for sending me an amazing rig. It's Monday, so of course I don't have any fucking dabs. I, I smoked them all yesterday celebrating. Hey, this video comes out for the week of the two years. We're done two years. On Wednesday, when this week's Positive Vibes comes, drops, we're, we celebrate on our Wednesday, October 26, 2016. Marks the beginning of three years. We're going to start our third year that day. That's fucking amazing. I can't believe we've been going for two full years and now we've actually got plans and goals for the third year. It's not just all willy-nilly. Most of it is. Like 90% of it is willy-nilly. But we do have plans, goals. We have a structure. And I love it. 
And we got a new show, Turn Up with Team Turn Up. If you're watching this on Monday night, you can check out our Facebook group, Not Slim One. Search on Facebook, subscribe to that dumbass shit. And then every Tuesday and Thursday morning minimum, you can see me or Rick go live and getting turned up like Team Turn Up does. Because what do we do? We get turn up. We stay turn up. Woo woo. But uh, I got some company that wants to pop by and it's Monday morning. So I got to fucking actually turn down because I got to go to work tonight. And that's it. Halloween weekend is coming. Friday, we got the haunted house. Saturday, we got the fucking escape room. Sunday, we go back to Michigan a third day in a row for Fright Fest. And then it all culminates on Monday, October 31st, for Insane Clown Posse's Hollow Wicked concert. I'm so fucking stoked. I got my hair almost ready to go. Clown suits wrinkled up on the floor. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching this episode of the vlog. Stay tuned next Monday for an all-new episode of my life. Because that's what this show is. And that's it. So, again, thanks for watching. Thanks, Brandon, for sending uh, the rig. Check out Cloud Wars Vegas. Turn up. Whoop, whoop. Peace.